We have 30 minutes today to strengthen and perk the chest as well as lean out our back. So if you will notice today, I do have my box. So if you have your box, your chair, exercise bench, something like that, have that handy for when we do our single arm rows, rear delt flies, and also we're gonna do incline push-ups. If you don't have that, you will have the modification as well to follow. You're also gonna need your dumbbells and you're gonna wanna pick something that is gonna challenge you throughout the entire set, but those last 10 to 15 seconds should be really challenging. That is how you know you are going heavy enough and that is what is going to help us build and lean out our muscles. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into our warm up and then we'll get our workout started. So let's go ahead and take one arm, nice and big back circles here. We'll work one side and then the other. Three more and then we'll switch it up. Two and one, other side. So just taking a few minutes here to start to get those muscles warm in the back and the chest and the shoulders. Three more, here's three, two, and one, now we're gonna take that other hand again and take it across. So really close it up and open it, stretching up here, the chest. Two more, and one other side. Three more, two. We're gonna reach the hands out now, forward and then we're gonna pull back. So squeeze the shoulder blades and then out. Five more and here's four. Exhale as you do that pull right here. We've got one more and then we're gonna hinge it at the hips. So bring it down, we're gonna do an alternating single arm row so those arms stretch down towards the floor and then we're gonna pull and squeeze keeping that core engaged as you're here just letting those hands hang down we don't want the shoulders coming up towards the ears one more on each side and then we're gonna walk it out into plank and we're gonna do a few push-ups. Now you can do these push-ups on your knees as well, but we do wanna make sure we're getting those muscles warm. So let's take it down, walk it out into plank. Now you can do your push-ups on your knees or your toes. We're just gonna do five, so here we go. Almost there, one more, and then we're ready to begin. Good, all right, so from here, go ahead and grab your box. You can get your dumbbells ready. We are going to start out with a single arm rear delt fly. So again, if you don't have your box, you're gonna see a modification on screen. So grab your dumbbells and let's do this. All right, getting into position here, you wanna go ahead and drive your bum back, keep an, a slight bend in your knees using one dumbbell. We're going to fly and here we go. Exhale as you lift. I found when I do the single arm rear delt fly that I'm able to go a little bit heavier and that's something I'm actually working on. So sometimes when we work single, we can go a little bit heavier and I found that true with this exercise. So again, make sure you're challenging yourself for these three sets we have. And one, there we go. Breathe it out, shake it out. Now, when we're working single arm, let's say for this exercise, I'm using 15 pounds. So if you have tried 15 pounds, make sure to keep with that on the other side as well. So if you do one set with 15 and then you need to move down, make sure you try to work on the same thing for the other side as well. But let's get ready, we've gotta go again. Rest is short. We're working hard in three, here's two, and one. That rear delt is a small muscle running down the, your back, your upper back, part of your shoulder complex. 
So again, it's a small muscle group, plus we're taking that arm away from the midline of our body. So it is a tough exercise, even when the weight isn't too heavy. We've got three. Here's two and one. Oh, nice job. One more time with that side. Breathe in, it's going by quick. We got about 10 seconds and we'll go again. So let's bring it down, get into position. Again, back flat, core engage, and let's fly. Here we go. Ooh, over halfway. Good, here it is. Oh, three, two, one. Nice, just switching it up. Switching to that other side. So let's bring it on down. So drive those hips back, push those hips to the wall behind you. Keep that core engaged and let's fly, here we go. Almost there. Keep it strong. You're gonna get a nice little break here. This is three, two, and one. Nice. Rest it out. Oh, two more sets. Tough. This is a this is one of those exercises for me. It gets me. Oh my goodness. We gotta go again. But hey, we're almost through the rear del fly section. So Let's bring it down, we go in three, here's two, and one. Make sure you're controlling the weight up and down. All right, here's that countdown. We've got three, two, and one. Nice. Final set. This is it. If you ever need to gr grab a drink, dry off, make sure to do it. I'm getting close. This is already getting me a little toasty in here. Less than 10 and we go. Final set. This first half, we're gonna work the back. And then the next half, the second half of the workout, all about the chest. So let's grab our dumbbell. Last set here, three, Here's two, and let's go. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. Nice, now we're moving on. Still gonna need our box because we're gonna work single arm row next. So get your dumbbell for that. We're gonna get ready to go right into it. So let's switch back to that other side now. Again, we're gonna use that box for support. You've got that modification if you don't have a box. Back flat, core engaged, and here we go. As you row, make sure you're not rowing your chest open. So think about keeping your shoulders, keeping your chest here parallel to the floor. Oh, 
and squeeze that shoulder blade around your spine. We've got three, two, and one. Nice. If you got a little bit more weight in you, grab it. I'm gonna up it just a little bit here. All right, we're going soon. So bring it down, get back into position, drive those hips back, slight bend in the knees, and let's row. Here we go. Take your time with the row. Make sure you're squeezing. Hold it for a second and then control it down. Ooh, okay. Definitely. You know by the last 10 to 15 seconds if you went heavy enough because it is tough to get those last few reps. And that's one. Nice. One more set. So keep that in mind again throughout the last 10 to 15 seconds of each set. You'll know you've gone heavy enough if it is tough. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, I got it. And you got it. And that's how you know. And that's what's gonna help us build those strong muscles, help shape and define those muscles. Last set on this side, so grab your dumbbell and let's begin. Exhale with the squeeze. Next set, we're just gonna switch sides, same exercise, and we're almost there. Here we are for three, two, and one. Oh, let's switch it up, right to the other side. And now because I started a little bit lighter, I'm gonna start that same way with this set. But let's bring it down, back flat, core engaged. We've gotta go in three, here's two, and let's begin. that wrist straight. Almost there. Here we are, here's three. Two, and one. Nice job. Two more sets. Ooh. 10 seconds and we go. Let's go ahead and grab our dumbbell. We've got about five seconds. And here we go. Check the form, make sure the back is staying flat. We're not rounding, we're not arching. We've got a slight bend in the knees. Almost there. Last three. Here's two, one. Nice job, one more set. One more exercise that's really back focused. Then we're gonna do an exercise to pull over that's a little bit back and chest because we got the last work in, we got the chest. And then we're gonna switch it up and start working chest. So last set, let's get ready because we've got three. Here's two and let's begin. Remember, squeeze that shoulder blade around the spine. Keep a nice solid tempo here. So take it up nice and slow, squeeze it, control it back down. Oh, 
Ooh, so close. This is three, two, and one. Nice job. Now, we need two dumbbells because we are going into a reverse grip row. So we're done with the box for now until that very last exercise, which is gonna be the incline push-up, so box is out of the way. But grab your dumbbells for reverse grip row. So palms facing away, we hinge at the hips, and let's begin, here we go. Same thing, control the weight down, squeeze, hold for a second at the top. And wrist stay straight. As you row up, make sure you're not trying to curl your wrist. The dumbbells just hang in your hand right at the fingertips. I just wanna show you this here so you can see. Fingertips are just hanging here in the dumbbell so that you don't wanna to try to curl the weight as you row. So make sure you're paying attention to wrists. Oh, and that is time. Especially as you start to lift heavier, you really have to watch how your wrists and how your hands are holding the dumbbells to prevent your wrists from getting sore. So I always like to just bring that up because I know we are working heavy today. Two more sets. So let's grab it and let's get ready. Oh, here's three, two, and let's row. Couple more reps, come on, keep them strong right to the very end. Okay, we've got three, two, one. Nice, one more set, and then we're gonna move on. Yay, for the next exercise, which I really love, which is pullovers. But let's get ready, let's finish this set out strong. Don't lose your focus here on these rows. Make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades around the spine, exhaling as you pull. We've got three, we've got two, and let's begin. You've gotten to me, and that's my mistake. Some might say I can't get too far without seeing your face. You gave me your heart and took it away. I'm going underground. Almost there. And then we're gonna grab one dumbbell. You can also use two for the pullover and we'll bring it right to the ground. But we've got three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, so we're moving on now to the exercise. We're doing a little bit of chest, a little bit of back. We got some good core work in here as well. I'm gonna go with this one. So let's bring it back. You're gonna hold on to one end of the dumbbell or dumbbells. And here we go. So exhale as you pull up. And you're gonna wanna stop those arms just about perpendicular here to the floor. So arms are just going straight up. We don't wanna bring it too far past our chest or down towards our legs. Feel that core working as well. As you pull back up, really engage your core and squeeze. Last three, two, and one. Amazing. Oh, you rock. I love that exercise. I don't know about you. I don't know how you feel. It's a tough one, but I love all the compoundedness that we've got going on, all the muscles we're working. Let's get ready to go again. We've got about five seconds, so bring it up. And here we go.
that's three, two, and one. Nice job. One more set. Ooh. All the exercises after this last set from here on out, all about the chest. So we're going to be working it really awesome. And we're about halfway through this workout. Last set is here. We go in three. Here's two. Last set pullovers. Let's go. And squeeze. Roll it down, squeeze it up. Almost there. This is three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're switching it up to chest press. So now we're going to need two dumbbells. So grab your dumbbells for chest press. Just under 10 seconds. So roll it back. Going in three, here's two, and let's begin chest press. Now you should hear yourself breathing right here as you press up and you're exhaling. Think about the chest muscles right now. So make that mind muscle connection. That's gonna help you activate those muscles even more. You can think about an egg in your underarm and as you press up and as you squeeze, you're trying to crack that egg. So think about that as we go through these chest exercises. All right, one more, one more, cause we're on the countdown. Here's three, two, and one. Good. All right. We're going to do that two more times. Oh, five seconds, so let's get back into position. Bring the dumbbells up. And here we go. Almost there. This is three, two. Awesome. One more set. Oh, you can open up the chest. That feels so good. Oh my goodness. Let's get ready to go. We've got five seconds, so bring it back up. Oh, and here we go. Let's press. Now again, because we are lifting heavy, make sure your wrists aren't falling backwards as you press up. The dumbbell is just resting towards the heel of your hand, and then the fingertips are just wrapped around that dumbbell bar just to kind of keep them in place. So your fingertips are not holding onto the bar. The weight is resting in the heel of your hand, and the fingertips just ask, act as a little cover over that to keep them from moving. Oh, that's three, two, and one. Amazing. We're going into alternating chest flies now. I'm gonna set these dumbbells over because we are gonna have a narrow grip press coming up. So you can keep those dumbbells if that's what you use for that. But let's go ahead and get our chest fly dumbbells. Bring it on back. We've got five seconds. Ooh. Alternating sides. Here we go. with this alternating. It's a bit challenging because you kind of have to work on your balance here. Even though we're laying on the ground, it's a challenge to keep that one arm up and then control and open that other arm. So you've got a few things to focus on here. So focus on your balance, focus on your tempo. Make sure you're going down nice and slow and squeezing back up. 
Almost there. Three. Here's two. One. Good. Two more sets. Same thing with this exercise. You can think about that egg under your arm. And as you squeeze, think about cracking that egg. Just little things to help you emphasize the squeeze and help you work that muscle even more. Second set is here. So bring it up. We go in three. Here's two. And let's begin. Second set through, you can really feel that core activating now to help stabilize us. Almost there. Here it is. We've got three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, 15 seconds, we'll go again. Last set, let's bring it up. We go in three seconds, two, final set, let's begin. Over halfway. Final set here. We're going to move into close grip press next. Good. This is three, two, and one. Grab your dumbbells for narrow grip press. So palms are going to be facing each other. This is going to bring the tricep into uh, action a little bit more during this one. So you may feel that in the back of the arms. So you're doing it right if you do, but it's also gonna work the chest. So bring the dumbbells up. We've gotta go in three, in two, and here we go. So narrow means we're keeping those arms nice and close to the body. Remember to exhale as you press up. Last three, two, ooh, one. The chest, oh my goodness. 10 seconds, we've gotta go again. So bring those dumbbells up. Again, palms facing each other. Same thing with this one. Don't let the dumbbells fall into your fingertips and make your wrists fall back. So make sure that dumbbell is right in the palm, the base of your hand, and here we go. <sighs> Exhale as you press. Down. Up. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, one more set. One more set with those, and then we're gonna go finish strong with push-ups. And we're gonna do incline push-ups, so if you have your box nearby, Make sure to get that ready right after this final set so we can go right into those. But if not, you'll be doing push-ups on the floor. And here we go in three, in two, and let's begin. well over halfway. You are so close. <sighs> Come on. 
them on three, two, ah, one. Nice. Dumbbells off to the side. We are done with the dumbbells for now. Finishing out with that incline push up. If not, you're just doing that push up on the ground. So this can be on your knees or toes. Same thing with the box. You can do this on your knees as well, or you can do it on your toes. So let's get ready. Final three sets. We go in three, in two, and here we go. Make sure those elbows are going back. You don't want the elbows going out wide here. And still think about keeping your body in a nice, strong, straight line. Almost there. Here we are, last three. Two, one. Amazing. Two more sets. Two more sets and we got it. Break's almost over. Just about five seconds, so bring it back. Whew. Bring it out. And here we go. Push-ups are like the icing on the cake at the end of a workout, right? It's like the cherry on top. It's, the muscles are like, yep, this, this is it. So you know, you worked it right. Almost there. Here's three, two, one. One more set and we've got it. Oh, breathing. 10 seconds and we go, so let's bring it down. Again, keep that nice, strong, straight line with your body. And here we go. Whew. Exhale when you press up. Come on, keep it strong. You were so close. Remember, this is it. You showed up to get strong and you've made it to the point where you are stronger because of it. So awesome job. We are so close. Oh, here's three, two. Oh, okay. My oh my, you rocked it. You did it. Ask the like button to give you a pat on the back because right now I don't even know if I can reach to my back. You are amazing. Don't forget, grab a stretch after this. I love you so much. If you did not know, we have an encore for bike and bells after this. So we're gonna continue on to week nine. So this is not the last upper body for bike and bells. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. I will see you for our stretch. I love you so much. Thanks for being awesome. And I will see you over at the stretch.